Hi, my name is Jackson Kibler, and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Meet. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today, we're going to learn how to make custom color palettes in Tableau. In front of me is the Sample Superstore workbook, looking at profitability by region at the top and profitability by month at the bottom. If you navigate over to the workbook, you can see that you have limitations in what kind of palettes are available to you. If your company has a custom color palette and a style guide, you have to then maybe double click the color choose the HTML or maybe pick the screen color from a uh, template. Well, what if you wanna have it set up so every time you open the workbook, you have that as a custom palette that you can just select. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you navigate to your folder location for your Tableau repository, it's under My Documents, My Tableau Repository, you'll find a file called preferences.tps. Opening that, you'll see the default is in XML and it's just no preferences, no settings. So let's throw in the ability to make some changes. So we got to start with the preferences. And then now we can put in our custom color palettes. Starting out with a basic color palette, I'm doing one on our style guide. And here's the colors. And so I happen to know these HTML codes, uh, but to do a basic color palette, you name it, and then you do a regular type. These HTML codes, if you don't know them off the top of your hand, I would recommend installing something like Instant Eyedropper. It allows you to hover over, that is the HTML, for, HTML code for that green, and then you can see I can just paste it where it needs to go. Well, what about something like sales. So sales is on a gradient and so um, maybe the higher sales I want the darker color. So I can do something called a sequential type and bring that in. What that will do is give me a scale from white to blue to darker blue to gray to show the intensity of the sales over that sequence. Well, for something like profit, you might do profit and loss, where you have loss as a red and profit as a green or a blue. Well, that's called a diverging. So I'm going to call this one data meaning profit loss. And I have the dark red, red, white, blue, dark blue. And that's going to be my profit and loss. So now that I have these colors, I can go ahead and save it. You will have to open a new workbook. It won't automatically populate an already open workbook, but for this demo, I actually have one ready to go. So it's the same workbook, but now I timed it so that I have the preferences uh, built into my custom color palette. By selecting the color palette, I can scroll down and I see the ones at the bottom. I have my data meaning template here. I can choose maybe uh, gray for east, uh, green for uh, sorry, excuse me, gray for central, green for east. I'll go with this red for south, and I'll go with a good old data meaning blue for west. I can apply that, and as you can see, my now my regions are separated by the style guide from my company. Well, what about for profit and loss? That's on a scale. So let's go over here. I can first, I can change the profit by clicking edit and choosing the data meaning profit loss. Obviously a loss I want, I'd rather show red so I can just reverse that. Um, I set it so the center is zero. And now I have my data meaning profit loss. Let's go ahead and make these bars updated. So select measure values, edit colors. My cost is going to be data meaning red and my sales are going to be this same blue. Now as you can see I have my I have my sales, my cost, and my profit all on the same chart. And this is how you make custom color palettes in Tableau. 
If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thanks for watching.